get something that builds a little bit of confidence. This, this offense has struggled mightily. O'Connell deflected, and it's intercepted by Sertan. It is alumni weekend here, and the Broncos defeat the Raiders 34-18. to A huge win in the throwback uniforms. We're both wearing our pins here in honor of Alumni Weekend. How big was this win? Yeah, I think it was big in two ways, right? One, to do this in front of all the alumni. 1977 team is back for their first reunion. You've got Riley Odom, Steve Foley going to the Ring of Fame. You've got Randy Gratishar getting his Hall of Fame ring. And they wanted to make those guys proud. So to be able to do it in front of them meant a lot. And then also, it's your third win in a row. Broncos now are on a three-game win streak. Bo Nix becomes the first quarterback, rookie quarterback in franchise history to win three in a row. It's their largest win over the Raiders since 2016. 16. They snap an eight-game skid to the Raiders, so uh, it meant a lot, and uh, it was a fun one. <laughs> During pregame, you see Hall of Famer Champ Bailey and Pat Sertan II share a very special moment, and then he had a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two interceptions, including a 100-yard pick six. Pat Sertan said after the game that that was legendary <laughs> to have that moment with Champ Bailey to make that play in front of him. Of course, reminiscent of his 100-yard <laughs> return uh, back in 2005. But, yeah, Pat Sertan turned really the tide of this game. The Broncos at that point are on the verge of potentially going down 14 points. Instead, Pat Sertan makes a huge play, ties it up at 10. The Broncos go on a 34 to nothing run starting with that play. It's why he's the best defender on the team. It's why he's probably one of the best defenders in the league and definitely the best corner in the league. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a special guy, added that other interception. So he's playing really well right now. Jonathan Cooper said during post game that he's really happy that Pat's on his team. And for him to have that momentum shift, they really amped up the defense to have the performance that they had being able to get those interceptions both on Minshew and O'Connell. Yeah, it, it wasn't a quick start for Denver's defense, and Pat Sertan said the attention to detail wasn't there early in the game. The Raiders go up 10 nothing early, but then from there, starting with that pick six, they really turn it around. Uh, the next seven possessions for the Raiders, Elisa, 22 total yards, two first downs, another two interceptions. So this defense uh, in front of the Orange Crush defense did its best impression and helped the Broncos stay in it until the offense really got things going. And speaking of the offense, you saw the run game really pick up, and then you saw Bo Nix really have some really nice plays. Josh Reynolds getting his first touchdown for uh, Broncos country. Yeah, uh, the, the offense got things going. Like you said, beginning with the run game, there was a stretch there, averaging about six yards a carry. <laughs> they were kind of having their way there. And once they got things rolling, I thought there was a, a play toward the end of the first half where they get that field goal to go up 13-10, and you're thinking the way that this game is gone, for the Broncos to still be winning, Sean Payton said that's deflating for the other side. And then they come out in the second half. Half. And like you said, several touchdown drives, uh, put 21 points up on the board there. And, and Bo Nix, a couple of touchdown passes, runs for a touchdown. Uh, this was his best game as a Bronco. And if the Broncos keep playing like this, as complimentary football on offense, on defense, on special teams, uh, they're going to be in a lot of football games and they're going to be fun to watch the rest of the way. Not only do you have the throwback uniforms, Broncos country was here. They were loud. They saw such big moments. And now you have another division rival coming in next week. Yep, and you, uh, the only thing better than winning three in a row is getting to four in a row. But, <laughs> yeah, to have the field painted behind us like the 1977 AFC Championship game and then to do the exact same thing and beat the Raiders, <laughs> that's pretty special. That's exactly what the team wanted to do and what they focus on all season. This is your instant analysis after the Broncos win over the Raiders. I am your team reporter, Elisa Hernandez. This is your lead writer on DenverBroncos.com, Eric Delala.